Hello and welcome to our life. It is wedding eve. I'm about to embark on a trial of my makeup and all three outfits and hair that I'm gonna go through tomorrow. Just to make sure I feel good about everything. So let's go. While I do that, Lee is going to make some little sample bud vases of how we're gonna do our flowers. My little florist. I feel like you were made for this. I was. <laughs> In another life, I was a florist. 100%. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Hair and makeup trials works. That hair and makeup trials works. Oh my god, I have lost the ability to speak. Hair and makeup trials were a success. Uh, I don't want to give away all of the fits at this early hour, but I'm feeling pretty good about this bread. Um, while I was futzing with my looks, Lee just went ahead and arranged all of our roses into bud vases, and they look wonderful. They're all packed up now, but you'll get the full effect when they're set up in the space tomorrow, but they just it turned around after getting all my stuff in order, and uh, they were just in action mode, so I just, you know, <laughs> let them have that. Look how gorgeous these are. We've got three different kinds of eucalyptus and some dusty pink and ivory roses. You can't see the bud vases, but they're in there and they're gonna be gorgeous. You really just went to town. I did, it took so long. But they look so pretty. They're so pretty. And I actually enjoy doing it. I just don't enjoy stress out about how to transport them. And yeah. That, that's the hard part. Yeah. But there's not that many boxes. No, not too many. We will be fine. Yeah. One of our friends, our efficient actually, is uh, lending us their car for the day um, to transport all of our goodies and decor. Uh, that we can just park right at the venue. Um, so it's waiting in the neighborhood. We're gonna load it up in the morning, see what the damage is. And worst case scenario, we get an Uber on top of that. One of us drives the car and then we have two cars. Yep. Yeah. Or we make two trips with the one car. Or we make two trips. Either way, everything's gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Hopefully everybody else will get there as well. I don't trust boomers with directions. I know, not in Brooklyn but hopefully all the key people get there anyway. Yeah. Oh. I'll be there. You'll be there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, great, that's all I care about. <laughs> We're gonna split a beer and eat some Trader Joe's gyozas for our rehearsal dinner, I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm dancing. Oh, yes, no, I see that. <laughs> Tootie, I wish you could come tomorrow. We're practicing our first dance with Tootie. Yeah. Mm, Tootie, you're a wonderful stand-in. She is. An excellent follow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just practicing the speech I'm going to give tomorrow. I don't know if you can tell by the um, eye makeup that's all over my face now because I started crying. Um, but that's great, we did it. We're not gonna cry tomorrow now, we got it out of our system. We're not sure. the day of the wedding. I've already cried 
three times this morning uh, watching the video of my Mermaid of Honors speech uh, that she was kind enough to record from her far off homeland of Oregon. I met Kit in the late summer of 2014. In my memory of the night, there's a knowing that occurs in the rarest of relationships. A fateful something whispering, oh, there you are. At Washington Square Park over peppermint tea, I told you I kept feeling like I was waiting for land, for some sense of certainty that I was realizing wasn't coming. We connected in our commitment to a new way of being, a life that meant accepting an ocean of mystery and we decided we were mermaids. Not long after, I received a text, I need a mermaid date, and beside Bethesda Fountain, quite literally watched over by an angel, you told me how you had fallen in love. I know now what love is for real, you said, and I heard in the sureness in your voice that you had found in Lee the closest thing to land a mermaid could hope for. Through these last few years, and their many challenges, it has been an honor to witness the integrity with which you both have continued to show up for each other and for yourselves. On this mermaid journey, I've come to understand queerness primarily as living truthfully, from the heart, even in a world bent on prescribing control and domination. And I'm so grateful to Kit and Lee for your stunning example. I, I used some collagen eye patches. I'm gonna try to unpuff myself. We're, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm not confident that I will stop crying at any point today. I think it's just gonna be kind of like a continuous stream. Um, but we just finished organizing all of our supplies. Everything's labeled and ready to go. Some last minute additions. We've taken our time waking up, having some coffee, and now we're gonna go start loading up the car. It's go time. Good morning, Spoos. Good morning, Spoos. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hi. It's not the day after the wedding. It's two days after the wedding. Because we were in a coma yesterday. Yeah. So. Really and truly. Yeah. <laughs> this is our first waking moment post wedding and still just basking mm. in the glow. What's your review? It was perfect and everybody is saying that it was perfect. Yeah. That makes me believe that it was perfect. Oh. So. Yeah. Truly no notes. I mean, um, I know it was perfect for me, but I'm glad that everyone else also felt that way. Mm -hmm. That's just very affirming. Got a lot of feedback that lots of other people had fun too. We couldn't part with our florals just yet since Lee worked so hard on them. So we're uh, just completely surrounded on all sides by our florals and the string lights that we put up in the venue. <laughs> and we'll keep them here as long as we possibly can. Cause look. They looked so pretty. At how gorgeous. Can't bear to part with them. Mm. So we can finally um, be specific that we <laughs> got married at the Prospect Park Boathouse. I was sitting on the venue this whole time. Um, it was so pretty. It was December 16th and it was like 55 degrees and super sunny and people were outside and like wearing no coats and mm -hmm. it was literally the perfect weather. Mm -hmm. Like we couldn't have asked for better weather, like it was amazing. It was amazing. We had the ceremony um, inside the boathouse with that had these huge windows overlooking Prospect Park Lake, like right at golden hour. So the sunlight was coming in and the doors were open. Our friend Teddy officiated for us and they were just the perfect host for the ceremony. They were so funny and endearing and sweet and kind. Um, we had some close friends read some of our favorite passages from poetry and literature. We had um, a beautiful first dance to this song, uh, Calico Skies by Paul McCartney. Um, I had three, two costume changes, three outfits total, all of which slayed, um, not to date myself. And we had karaoke at the reception. Um, we had a DJ. It was a hit. Yeah, uh, our DJ 
had the capability to, to interweave karaoke requests in with the dancing, but everyone wanted to do karaoke. So there was like, and people danced at the karaoke, but it was just karaoke performance after karaoke performance, because we're friends with a lot of performers and singers. So it was just, it was uh, like a concert in and of itself. It went over really well, because it was a good, you know, dancing, everyone just, everyone's together, but they're kind of doing their own thing. But karaoke, there's like a focal point. So it kind of brought mm -hmm. the whole like 90 person party together. Okay. Um, yeah. of like our queer friends here in Brooklyn and our bio families. So it was just a, a good communal experience. And you're, and so, you're such a beautiful singer. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah. I think you're a little biased, but I'll take it. I'm not. And you're so pretty the whole time. You were so pretty the whole you time. You were so pretty the whole time. Mm. And I gave a very long speech at the reception. We didn't do um, like father of the whatever speeches, but we had one of these close family friends give a toast and then I gave a long speech about our, us and our origin story and our relationship and how wonderful Lee is. And I made my dad weep. And then I made Lee's dad weep. So mission accomplished on my part. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a sweet little after party um, at a neighboring bar that, you know, a handful of people went to just enough to make it you know, keep the party going, but not enough that we overwhelmed the bar, which was good. Mm. The only little, you know, divot in the whole thing was that we, we were so busy partying that we um, missed dessert. So we're going to have to make up for that. But we, you know, um, part of our dessert spread was uh, these cookies from a very famous bakery here in New York that we can just go and get. So we'll go make up we for it. We also tasted most of them at the tasting. Yeah. But... And if that's the low point, then, you yeah. know, I think we did fine. Yeah. And the only feeling of like... Regret is that like we can't literally just go back in time and experience it over and over again. And I think that's a good sort of longing to be left with was just that it was so beautiful and perfect that, you know, if the technology existed to go back and uh, um, be inside of it again and just have it on repeat. But I think that's, you know, the nature of the thing. Multiple people have said that the, the love in the room was palpable and it was the best wedding and the best party and the best celebration of, of anything that they've ever been to. Mm -hmm. uh, very high praises. It's, it's good to hear. Yeah. Because we did a lot ourselves. We did a lot ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, there was obviously, we, we, we splurged on the venue a bit. Because like any Brooklyn or New York yeah. City venue, like capital V venue, is going to be yeah kind of exorbitant, right? But past that, you know... I did my own hair and makeup. We put our outfits together. We did our florals. We did a lot of the decor. We had friends doing photo and video. Yeah, obviously, as you've seen several times in this vlog, hand embroidered our um, little ornament favors. Like People a lot was, them. they really did. We were just like, oh my gosh, did you make all of these? Your hands <laughs> must have been about to fall off. And I'm like, accurate. I really do think I like sprained my index finger um, <laughs> with that needle point. We put a lot of thought and a lot of effort both like materially and creatively and emotionally into that day. So I'm really glad that it translated for everybody. I'm gonna look at this. Cause then this is my spoos. <laughs> like it doesn't get better. But yeah, I still think I need to sleep for like three more days. Yeah. Um, Cause I, really, I didn't sleep the night before. I was, I just couldn't turn my brain off. I was excited and anxious and thinking through all the little details. So I had like a giant, drag show that I hosted on Thursday, which was already its own huge undertaking. And then a day to recover on Friday and do all the last minute, you know, recover. But it was just like all the last minute tasks and everything and then didn't sleep and then had Saturday. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little toasted. Also low key got my period as soon as I got home from the wedding. Um, blomp, blomp. It, but you know what? At least it was right after. It held off, <laughs> <laughs> it held up truly until the last moment, so. What are you going to do? Weather was perfect on Saturday and then really cloudy and rainy and gross yesterday and then this morning. Um, Until like two seconds ago. This now it's clearing up again, so I'm going to go yeah. try and like go buy groceries so we can continue our lives and just recover. And just relax. Yeah. Lee has a couple more assignments before their winter break to finish up. Almost done. Almost done. And then their birthday is on Friday. Christmas is the next couple mm -hmm. of days after that. So like, you know. I just, we're just going to keep rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and winter solstice is in a couple days, so. Yeah. 
we got we got plenty more celebrating to do so yeah. i'm gonna sleep today <laughs> yeah i meant to vlog yesterday but i literally was just like it is not happening so this is the earliest i could possibly check in and get a little time capsule yeah. post wedding we hired a, a buddy to use our little vlogging camera to take a ton of video, so I'll be able to cut together a little recap of the day itself. Um, but that'll be a separate undertaking. Yeah. This is just to say hello, hello. to our future selves. Hello, future selves. Are you still so pleased? I hope so. No. I hope you I'm only sure are. you only become more and more pleased as you reflect on it. You're welcome for all the work that we did. <laughs> You're welcome, future selves. And also present selves. Mm -hmm. I don't I'm sleepy. Okay. And good job. Good job to you. Oh, thank you. Hmm. I did a good job. I guess we should get married or something. That's such a good yeah. thing. Yeah. People are saying we need to do this uh, quarterly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have four weddings a year, I guess. Yeah. Uh, going forward. We're going to need to start a Patreon or something. Jesus <laughs> Christ. We need a sponsor. Uh, Love you, baby. Goodbye. We just keep adding more and more string lights to this room. <laughs> I'll never stop. You can never have enough string lights. I think we're proving that. Hi, baby. Check it out. What are these? Ooh. Married and bright. I think you came up with that, uh -huh. or I came up with that. I think I came up with that one. And then I came up with this one. Puns on puns. <laughs> get it? That's us. I that we just decided to get some photos in, well, my wedding outfit and Kit's potential wedding outfit. Right, we, uh... Um, to, like, test it out, uh, get some photos so we don't have to worry about getting all the photos on the actual day. I wanted to do a test run of this look, which is a very good look. But after getting these photos back, I felt it was more like sexy solstice and less wedding. Um, so we just turned this into our Christmas card shoot and like bonus beautiful. beautiful pictures at our venue. Yeah. Um, so you don't know her no foul. I finally washed my hair today. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Uh, and I haven't washed my hair since Saturday morning before the wedding. So I've been a dirty little boy this whole week. Until now, I just can't get over this environment. It's like living in a dreamscape. I also can't remember if we showed you these yet, but I made uh, gender neutral covers for the bathroom signs at our venue, which just said men and women as most places do. And our queer and trans friends definitely expressed their appreciation. Some of the queer staff uh, were also stoked that we queered up the venue for you know all eight hours we had it so job well done i think it's just uh felt by the way with some iron on letters i'll do the trick jeremy has a new favorite spot in the apartment and it is on top of the air fryer which is fine except that he keeps turning it on <laughs> jeremy my little gargoyle I just made us a batch of African peanut stew. This is a fresh off the grid recipe, which is actually designed for car camping, but I like making it at home. Uh, forgive me if I've already made this for you and talked to you about it. Uh, I don't remember. We're gonna eat some dinner and throw on gremlins because why not? Woo, it's very zoomed in. Jesus fucking Christ. Another day, another mailing. <laughs> we ordered these very cute Thank you cards with a little watercolor painting of our wedding venue. Aren't they sweet? And Lee has taken on the task of handwriting all of our thank you cards, which is very sweet and very necessary because my handwriting is for absolute shit. Also, excuse their nursing glass going on in the background. Ugh, every day I think, wow, I finally recovered from the wedding. And then every day I think again, not so much. <laughs> Maybe once a full week has gone by, I'll actually feel like a person again. Um, but not yet. 